Hey everyone, uh, this is Will, the beer champion, and uh, I've been off for a, well, a couple of weeks after doing 25 straight pairings in 25 days uh, around a single food item, uh, <laughs> and today I am not doing that. Uh, tonight I am doing a food and beverage pairing around garbanzo beans, rich and B vitamins and iron and history. The garbanzo bean comes from, well, it actually comes from a lot of different histories. Um, about 70% of garbanzo beans come from India today. Uh, what's interesting though is <laughs> that France claims to have invented the garbanzo bean in about 7,000 BCE, which would have been about 2,000 years before we started <laughs> producing vegetables, before we started uh, coming out of the hunter-gatherer phase and into the agricultural phase. It's a bunch of bullshit. But, you know, France colonizing history is not the first time that they've done this. And so I felt like a good pairing would be, um, well, in this case, uh, a really nice Chardonnay. Sutter Home. Uh, Chardonnay is usually characterized by putting their wine into uh, an oak barrel, which gives it some buttery characteristics. Um, Sutter Home, based out of California, uh, is, a, is an interesting winery. They were some of the first people, uh, for some of the first uh, wineries to put their wine, which clocks in about 13% alcohol, into um, a more economic container. This contains about three glasses of wine. Um, they've won a bunch of medals for this stuff. They, they started in the late 19th century, but they, were, uh, they had to close down during Prohibition from the original family. And then um, they were uh, restarted in 1948 from the family that currently owns the company. Uh, they've won hundreds of medals for their wine. And they're <laughs> as, uh, for an economic choice, I was pretty darn good. Oh. Yeah, it's smooth. It's easy to drink. And so portable. I just love... A cardboard carrying case. I mean, I don't know if it's exactly cardboard. It's a little bit plastic coated, but with like a removable seal. And it's just so easy to move around. I mean, like you go on a hike, you've got uh, this with another friend, and you're good to go. Um, you know, you don't expect a Chardonnay to be breathtaking or wonderful. You expect it to be approachable. Same as the garbanzo bean. Which, so I got these from, well, the place that I work over at Zeke's Pizza. And they're delightful. They just have like a touch of rosemary to them. And pairing with the Chardonnay is a very pleasant way to spend, <laughs> well, uh, a warm winter day, which is what I had today. It was... I'm here in the middle of January, and it was uh, it was sunny out. I went for a light jog. I um, just had a very pleasant day outside. It was in the low 50s, high 40s today here in Seattle. And um, honestly, I've been feeling very creepy about it. It's been <laughs> very strange. Like uh, we talk about how like a dark and stormy night can be, you know, the the creepiest. But honestly, a warm summer day. Or a warm winter's day in Seattle in the, in January. Oh, I'm so much more off put. Um, so yeah, that's the pairing of the day. We've we've got our very lightly flavored, if at all, seasoned garbanzo beans with our just uh, traditional Chardonnay. Mm. And it's been. Um, been delightful you know it's it's very low intensity um good flavors but it's not something that's gonna overwhelm you 
And, uh, you know, in this month, uh, we're talking about uh, healthy things. I mean, maybe not the Chardonnay itself, but, the, you know, healthy foods or feeling healthy. Uh, I'm feeling good about it. So uh, <laughs> we'll be doing a few more of these. And uh, have a great day. And, you know, like and subscribe and yada, yada, yada. But also, cheers.